I'm Maria Winkleman. And I'm Harold Bogenheim, her assistant. And this podcast is to record my works and discoveries as an astronomer. Not that it matters since you're a woman. Yeah! Ow! What? What? I'm up. I'm up. Uh, I'm up. Come on, Harold. Stay up with me. We gotta do the skies for the infirmary and the challenge. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm so tired. I can't even keep my eyes wide open. Besides, you're a woman. You're not, you're not gonna get any credit for it. It's not just about the credit. It's about discovering something and sharing it with the world. Good. We'll take shit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, look, look! What? I think it's a comet! Whoa, good eye, man. I think we should name it after me. I'm the one who made the discovery, you selfish jerk. Must I remind you that you're a woman, and you're not gonna get any credit for it anyway? Fine, what year is this? The year 1702. Then we should call it Comet of 1702. Are you okay with that? Yeah, thank you. All right, you're welcome. What are you doing now? I discovered an aurora borealis. Wow, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Here, I'll be back. You want to write down my observation? She just doesn't get how useless this is. What are you doing now? Oh, I'm writing down my predictions on the location of the suns of Venus and Saturn in 1704. Uh huh. There, done. Van der conjunction Tertone de Saturne and der Uh, let me see that. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Pretty good. You can't tell that it's a woman that wrote it. You might have a chance. Of course I have a chance. And anyway, it's under my name, so I'm going to take all the credit for it. Alright, but is it going to help you become a member of the Royal Academy of Sciences? It doesn't matter. This book's going to be made for the public. So what are you writing about now, Master? I'm writing about it. About? What does it matter to you? You discourage me of any of the work that I do, considering it to be useless all because of my gender. You're a horrible assistant. I just didn't want you to get your hopes up too high. Oh, shush. If you must know, I'm writing down my predictions of the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter in the year 1714. Don't you dare make any comments or criticism about it, or I swear I'll fire you. Okay, fine. Jeez. 